Now let's look at our second example here. It says what system of inequalities is represented in the graph below. So this time we do have the graph and we are going to write the system using the graph we have. In this graph we have a red line here and the shaded region below it which is yellow. So this here represents our first inequality. Then we have that blue line with the shaded region above it, the blue shaded region, and that represents our second inequality. So let's try to find each one of them at a time. Now for the red line here, now for you to write a linear inequality, you're going to write it the exact same way you write a linear equation, but without the equal sign. So if you usually find the linear equation in the form y equal mx plus b, then you are required to find the slope and the y-intercept for this line. So the slope of the line and the y-intercept of the line. The y-intercept of this line is at this point here. Now, what is this point? Now, if this is 2, then this is 3, then I have 4 and 5. So the y-intercept for that red line is 5. What about the slope of this red line? Well, I can take any two points on the line, let's say these two points, and find the rise and the run. Well, the rise, negative 1, we went down 1, and the run was 2 to the right. Now, if you find this first, then this, then we'll, this will be negative, and this will be positive, and you will end up with the same slope. So I have here negative half. Another way to do this is for you to find the two points and substitute in the slope formula until you find it. And we did explain that in ways to find the slope video before, so you can check that out. Now, I have the slope, I have the y-intercept, if, I, if this was an equation, I would have been able to write it y equals mx, so negative half x, plus b, which is plus, sorry, 5 in this case. Now, why don't I write equal? Because it's not an equation, it's an inequality. In this inequality, the region below the line was shaded, so I know it's less than. However, because the line is dashed, and it's not a continuous line like a blue one, I'm not going to write equal, it's only less than because the points on the line are not a solution for this inequality. And this was our first inequality. The second inequality, the blue one, again, I'm going to look for the y-intercept, and it's negative 1 in this case, so b equals negative 1, and then look at the slope. So I have two points here. These are the two points. I went up 2 to the right 2. So my slope is 2 over 2, which is 1. 1. Okay? Now, how do I know in which direction it is? Well, I went up, so it's positive. I went to the right, so it's positive. In this case, I went down, so it's negative. And I went to the right, so it's positive. So on the y-axis, up is positive, down is negative. On the x-axis, to the right is positive, and to the left is negative, depending where you started from. I started from here, so I went down, negative 1, to the right, 2. I started from here, I went up, positive 2, to the right, then positive 2. This is how I found the slope and the y-intercept. I'm going to write the inequality again. I have y, mx, so I have 1x, plus b, which is negative 1 in this case, so minus 1. Now, the shaded region in this case is above the line, so it's greater than. The line is continuous, so I also write equal. Now, the system of inequality I have that is required in the question is y less than negative half x plus 5 for the red inequality and y greater than or equal to x minus 1. Now any point that is in the intersection of the shaded regions is a solution for the system. Any point. Now this point that we have here which is negative 2 and 3 should be a solution of the system. Let's check if it is. So I'm going to check negative 2 and 3 as a solution for the system. In this case, you need to substitute in both inequalities. So I'm going to say now 3, is it less than negative half multiplied by negative 2 plus 5? Well, we're going to check, we're going to find out. Negative half times negative 2 is actually equal to 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, and definitely 3 is less than 6. Let's look at the other inequality. Is 3 greater than or equal, I'm not sure yet, to negative 2 minus 1? Well, 
3 is greater than or equal to net checks for the other inequality as well. Now, I was saying a minute ago that a point on that shaded, uh, surely dashed line is not a solution. Let's find out how. Like, if I take any point on that shaded, um, sorry, dashed line, like this point here, which is 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, and check if it's a solution or not. Well, substituting the first in quality, I have 4, and I am not sure is 4 less than negative half multiplied by 2 plus 5. Well, negative half multiplied by 2 is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Is 4 less than 4? No. This is why we say that points on a dashed line are not a solution. Okay? Now, we have discussed how to find the inequalities from the graph. Thank you so much for watching.